Hey what's up everybody Mike back with another video so welcome to Project Grey a custom painted grey projector screen that kicks the butt out of a hundred dollar white Amazon projector screen this has got a gain factor of around 1.2 so come along and check out exactly how I built this for literally next to no money <laughs> This is the Jumper EZ3 Pro, running on the Intel Apollo Lake N3450, has a 13.3 inch IPS 1080p display, featuring 6GB of RAM, 64GB of internal storage, and it has dual band Wi-Fi. Learn more at the link in the video description. So guys, before I go any further, let me make it clear to you, because I don't want you guys uh, messing up your walls or anything like that. This is not a guide, this is not a tutorial, this is just merely my own experience with experimenting with just generic DIY store paint selection to basically see if I could create something better than a white projector screen that costs about £100 on Amazon and this whole project literally including masking tape, uh, paint brushes, uh, roller trays, all of that cost me less than £50 here in the UK. If you guys actually want to check out a ready-made projector screen paint then check the link in the video description there's some pretty good options out there but let me tell you they are not cheap this is why people go the DIY route also there's some pretty good articles on how to mix different projector screen paints for different game factors pretty interesting reading if you want to learn more so step one fill in any holes sand down any uneven surfaces you want the wall to be as smooth as possible so as you can see all the holes are filled in I used a deep gap filler and then a fine surface filler after I'd actually finished it the fine surface filler I used was something called red devil and then sand everything down once again then I used a satin white paint to actually use as a base coat or an undercoat if you want and now this is actually Zinsa paint prima white this is really good paint and it does the job fantastically so using this Zinsa White Prima paint I applied three coats to the marked off section. Now the marked off projector screen section by the way is 94 inches, that's the size of my screen. It did change a little bit but it was three coats of this with about six hours drying time in between. So after the third base coat had dried we decided to plug in the Xiaomi projector, cleared the whole surrounding area and placed the projector and marked off the four corners. Now the screen as you can see it is its final resting place. We used the spirit level to accurately trace the actual projected screen all the way around. So after that then we used 50mm masking tape, feel free to use 75 if you want a bigger border, this will help with contrast and light bleeding, get somebody to help you with this because you want this to be absolutely perfect because this is going to make all the difference later on. So guys then started 5 hours of mixing paint, obviously this wasn't completely scientific, this is our base colour which we use white gloss, white satin, a various array of random stuff that we had lying around the house, to even darken it to see what the dark one would look like we even mixed in some black and then we played some video files some still images to see exactly what suits our environment our lighting situations the projectors max lumen count and the kind of color tones that we like do not commit until you find that perfect color once you have get a bucket make sure you measure everything and use a paddle mixer to mix your final paint so after we applied three coats of our mix we left it overnight and came back to it the next day Honestly I couldn't help myself, I plugged in the Xkimi H1 briefly just to see what the screen would look like. So the following day before we did anything else to the project screen we used this glitter grey coloured paint. It's got feckles of glitter in it and we painted the whole wall surrounding the actual projector screen just to get that out of the way. Three coats again because the wall's not very dark you don't need four or five coats. Three coats was enough and I don't know if you guys can see but this is how much it glitters at night. This looks absolutely amazing. So compared to what the Xiaomi projector was doing in daylight before with the white projector screen to compare to what it's doing now, it's worlds apart. Once we knew everything was good we carefully peeled the original masking tape for the frame off and now we're going to mask from the inside of the screen from the top of that white line and now this process again took time and we took our times, made sure it was done absolutely perfectly, going to the trouble to align everything 100% and folding all of the corners. Once we were happy we were ready to paint the black border. Now for the border we used a matte black tester pot of paint that I picked up from the local hardware store, cost literally about £1.50, I applied three coats and then on the fourth coat it was merely just touching up the imperfections that I actually missed, I didn't use a roller, I used a tiny brush that came inside the tester pot to do this. So peel off the actual masking tape and the border is complete, 
There are some imperfections and using a projector border tape would have been a little bit better. But if you want to keep costs down, just paint it on. Now, this is a vast improvement over the $100 white Amazon projector screen. And as you can see from these test videos, this works absolutely fantastically. And I'm pretty happy with the end result considering what I spent and what I've actually gained in return. So that about wraps it up from me. If you like this video, leave a like. If you want to see more of these, leave it in the comment section. Don't forget to enter the projector giveaway. Uh, until next time, thank you for watching. I'll catch you next time.